Why is the U.S. government taking food out of people's mouths? In response to the COVID-19 pandemic, the U.S. enacted a temporary boost to its Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program, or SNAP. Formerly known as the Food Stamp Program, SNAP provides monthly assistance to eligible low-income people so that they could buy food. The temporary boost gave recipients the maximum amount of money for their household size, which means they got an increase of at least $95. The program was a huge success. A study by the Urban Institute found that it kept approximately 4.2 million people above the poverty line in the last quarter of 2021 alone, which reduced poverty by 9.6% and child poverty by 14%. This reduction was highest for non-white people. So why did the government let it expire in March 2023? Without the emergency allotments, every household will receive at least $95 less every month. Some households will see an even steeper drop of $250 or more. That means, on average, an individual person will receive just $6.10 per person person per day in 2023 without the COVID boost. $6.10 per day. What can you even eat with that? On average, a fast food value meal costs at least $7. Okay, okay, so Big Macs and Whoppers aren't typically covered by SNAP, but even staples have become extremely expensive with today's inflation. Let's go to the grocery store and see how far $6.10 will take you. How about a nice sandwich? A loaf of store brand bread, some individually wrapped cheese, and some bologna will take you right to the limit, if not over. And heaven help you if you want condiments. A Caesar salad sounds nice. You can get some lettuce and croutons for approximately $4, but at $3 a pound, you probably won't be getting any chicken in there for protein. $6.10 is barely enough for one meal, so we might as well do the most important one, breakfast. Is that still a thing? Anyway. A dozen eggs and a pound of bacon will already take you well over the limit. And if you want some fresh fruit or orange juice as part of your balanced breakfast, you're out of luck. Now we know that we're buying in quantities that can make more than one meal, but even if you expand that $6.10 a day for the whole month, you're still looking at only a little more than $180 in terms of help. Low-income families are facing a hunger cliff that could mean missed meals, unhealthy food, and tighter budgets that are already stretched thin. Without further help from the federal government, it's up to state and local governments to step in and replace the benefits. It's unconscionable for a country as rich as the United States to let its people go hungry, but without help, that's the grim reality millions of people face.